snow does it take to make a blizzard and how much damage could a blizzard cause? Oh, great question from Pioneer Elementary. We're talking again about winter storms, and it just happens to be Winter Weather Awareness Week. And so this says Winter Weather Trivia, but it's not really trivia. I'm going to talk about watches and warnings and build up to what a blizzard actually is. So let's begin with what the Weather Service will issue this winter. Remember, the Weather Service is the organization that issues all watches and warnings. No local meteorologists do, do that, just the National Weather Service. So they issue a winter storm outlook. Might be the first thing looking at looking at way in advance, maybe three to seven days, hazardous winter weather is expected. So kind of getting you ready to stay tuned and watch Fox 9 now for updates. We keep you posted as those storms approach. If a storm is getting to within 12 to 24 hours away, a significant threat is still there for winter weather. A winter storm watch is then issued for a wide region, West Central Mountains, maybe even the Treasure Valley. After the winter storm watch, as a storm gets closer, if it's going to materialize as being a big threat as expected, a winter storm warning will then be issued for that area as the storm system comes in or is imminent, just basically coming in overnight 6 to 12 hours in advance. If it is not quite as big a threat and looks like it'll be not life-threatening, a winter weather advisory will then be issued after the watch, basically for less serious winter weather. Again, not life-threatening. Here's the blizzard, and this is the answer to the question now. It takes a big storm system to cause a blizzard. You need wind. That's one of the keys and a lot of cold. Temperatures are really supposed to be less than 20 degrees, but in the Intermountain West, the two main criteria is this, sustained winds of 35 miles per hour or frequent wind gusts of at least 35 or more, plus you have to have considerable falling snow or blowing snow, which reduces visibility down to a quarter mile. If there's no blowing snow on the ground, to get a quarter mile visibility, that is heavy snow falling, or you can also get the wind blowing, of course, as you see here, and that will reduce that visibility, and that causes a blizzard warning. Sometimes there are ground blizzards. We do get these in the center mountains in a rare occurrence. We could get it in the Treasure Valley, but we'll watch for blizzard warnings as we move on. And great question again from Pioneer Elementary School. We'll be answering more throughout the week. 40